Hello, hello YouTube. Charge text about with another great tutorial. Let's today's tutorial is about how to fix this PC can't run on your PC either in the Windows computer. So this uh, tutorial is a second tutorial that I made on this issue. Uh, I made a, a previous video related with this how to fix this PC cannot run on your PC in Windows computer. So a lot of uh, subscribers uh, recommended me to, to make another video, which is some of them have a solution from this video but uh, the others are still having this problem which is none of them work none of them don't work uh, faced a problem on this issue so here i made another tutorial which is a part two so make sure you check the first one so the first solution for this video will be checking the apps version so you may have on your computer which is the operating system will be a 32 bit or 64 bits operating system so make sure you download the correct uh, uh, app which is which is compatible with the version which is in order to check whether your pc is 32 bit or 64 bit operating system just go here click the search icon and type here system information so after you type system information here you will find the system information then open it so in my case here here the system type is 64 bit which is 64 based pc so the application that you download should have to be a 64 based not 32 bit it should have to be 64 bit so the first solution for this video will be checking the apps version before you download or before you install maybe it would be google chrome or any other application so make sure you have a compatible version with your computer so if the first solution cannot work for you then the second solution will be run the app in the compatibility mode so make sure your app is compatible so for example if google chrome is showing this problem related with the app cannot run problem so right click on the application that you face the problem right click on it and select properties then after that you will find here different options so make sure you select compatibility so after you select compatibility here you will find which is running under the compatibility troubleshooter so make sure you check uh, which is the run compatibility troubleshooter so select that and follow the steps until you will find some solution so here it have two solutions which is selecting the troubleshoot option so try recommended one or troubleshoot a program so try each of them let's try the first one for this video and you will try the next the second one after you try the first one so select here try recommended setting then after that here testing compatibility setting for the program which is windows compatibility mode which is windows 8 here it selected that test the program so here it opened it's working fine so after that here i'm going to click next then here the troubleshoot has completed and is the problem fixed if it is fixed select yes if it is no select no if no report you can select whatever and also try even the second solution that it showed you which is this one troubleshooting the program so check each of them and try to find a solution from the run compatibility troubleshooter and also you can also try here under uh, the compatibility mode you can select here run this program in compatibility mode for you can try for windows 8 it is in the windows 8 you can try in windows 7 you can try in vista or others maybe in this uh, compatibility modes maybe the program will work correctly so after you select the specific uh, operating system then after that go here and select run this program as an administrator make sure you select this one then after that click here apply and select ok if it is not working again select windows 7 and click here run the program as an administrator click here apply and select ok so this will be the other solution which is running the app in a compatibility mode so if the second solution for this video is not working then the third solution for this video will be disk cleanup so maybe temporary files or junks uh, or cuts 
maybe uh, trying to create this problem so if this problem is related with temporary files you should have to clean up the uh, disk so in order to do that type here disk clean up so after you type the disk clean up here you will find disk clean up option so select that so here the disk cleanup option is open and here it have different programs here download program files temporary internet files recycle bin and other files so make sure you select that so for example you can select your temporary files recycle bins which is as you can see it's huge amount of files are there so you can remove all this data so after you select that make sure you click on ok so are you sure you want to permanently delete this file so it's going to remove it then select delete then it's going to clean up the drive so this will help you to, to remove cuts or uh, unnecessary files which are blocking the application from running after you finish the disk cleanup process and if the error or the the app cannot open problem still occurring then this the fourth solution for this video will, will be running the sfc scan now so in order to run the sfc scan now go here on the bottom which is in order to open the cmd so click here the search icon and type here cmd so here the command prompt so right click on it and select here run as administrator so click here yes here the cmd open so after that type here sfc space slash scan now so after you type this command then press enter which will start which is a verification process or checking if there is any system uh which is any system problems related with me maybe there will be a corrupted file so it's going to verify and check if there is any failure related with your operating system so this will take some time so wait patiently until the verification process will be completed so here the sfc scan now completed and in my case here it's showing me that windows resource protection found corrupted files and successfully repaired them so if you find this problem then you will use this command but if you did not find such a uh, message you can close and restart your computer so in my case there are in your case it will give you that the verification 100% completed and no other error like this so just close if you find this error then paste this command so i'll put it on the description box and then press enter so this one also takes some time so wait patiently until it will finish uh, the restore health process so after that restart your computer so after you uh, perform the sfc scan now and after you restart your computer if the problem still occurs then the final solution for this video will be reinstalling the problematic app so if google chrome is showing you such a problem then uninstall it and uh, download the application or if it is a microsoft Edge or any application so try to download the application from the scratch so uninstall then download it but then and make sure you clear all the cuts before you download so if you are going to download that specific application go on your browser click on the settings section and go here privacy and security and after that here clear browsing data click on it which is cached image and files cookies should have to be removed because these things may even create uh, your app cannot work after you download it so before you start downloading remove this uh, catch uh, files and cookies which is by clicking here clear the data then after that then after that download the application from a scratch or from the beginning so these are the solutions to fix uh, if this app cannot run on your pc either 
and if today's video is helpful please like subscribe and share to your friends thank you for watching just take off